Today we're going to be talking about angles and we're going to be using this diagram to do so. So the first angle we're looking for is the angle BAD, uh, which is right there. And what you can tell is that little box there means it's a 90 degree angle for BAC. And this line, A to D, that segment there, is splitting that 90 degree angle, where one part of it is 35 degrees. And what we need to do is find what the other part is. Well, since we know that the whole angle BAC is 90 degrees, we're going to take 90 degrees minus 35, and that will give us the measure of angle BAD, which is 55 degrees. There you go. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to be talking about angle ADC. So here we're looking for this angle right over there. Now, what we do know here is we have 35 degrees and 40 degrees, but if you look from A to D to C back to A is a triangle. And what we know about triangles is when you add up all the angles, it equals 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 180, and since we know two of the other angles, I'm going to take 180 minus the sum of 35 and 45. So it's 180 minus 80, and that's going to give me 100 degrees. And so that's what that angle is for ADC. Now we're talking about angle DCF. Now before, yeah, there it is. We're looking for that one right there. Now before, when we looked at our first angle, we, we saw that it was 90 degrees, and we can work with that. And the second angle here we was part of a triangle. But with DCF, it's not a triangle. There's no right angle. So we have to work with something else. And if we look, and we look from A to C to F, we see that that is a straight line. And the measure of an angle that is a straight line or a straight angle is 180 degrees. Now we know that the segment D to C is splitting that 180 degrees, and we know that part of it is 45 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 180, and we are going to minus it from 45, Yep, and that will give us 135 degrees, which is the angle there that we're looking for. Now we're talking about angle B, D, E. This is probably the easiest of all of them because we don't need to do any math here at all, none. We know that vertical angles are congruent. And so when we're looking at B, D, E, the opposite angle of B, D, E is a, D, C. And since they're congruent, we know that that is 100 degrees. Likewise, when we figure out those angles, we'll know that those two angles are equal as well. So that was a real easy one. Now we're talking about angle A, B, D. This one's a little trickier because we're looking for this angle here. And you can probably see there's a triangle from A to B to D back to A. But we're missing, we only have one angle. We only know that it's 55 degrees. We're missing this angle right here as well. So we're missing two angles. And we have to find that, that angle first before we can find the angle for ABD. Now we just did this with DCF. We see that A to D to E is a straight line. So we know that that is 180 degrees. And we know that B to D is splitting that 180 degrees, and so we're going to subtract it from 100, and that's going to give us 80 degrees. And that's that angle here. I'm going to write it in here so you can see it. There it is. So now we have two angles of the triangle. We have the 55 degrees, and we have the 80 degrees. And now we have enough information to go ahead and find that final angle. So I'm going to take 55 plus 80, and that's going to give me 135. And then I'm going to take 180, because when you add all three angles of a triangle, you get 180 minus that 135, and that's going to give me 45 degrees. And so that is the measure of that angle right there. I'm going to put that in there, 45 degrees. And there you go. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.